Hello, everybody, and welcome to Assy Accountant Pit Stop Podcast Edition, all the way from the wonderful Accountex Manchester 2023. And we've got a wonderful guest lined up. Basically, I think the easiest thing for us to do is just go, Tony, explain who you are, what you do, why, and everything else. Go. Go. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me along. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, liking being inside the old railway station. Very beautiful venue. So it was a railway station. Well, we were looked, talking about well, this. Well, go on then. Downstairs looks very... When you walk past from the outside with all the trains outside, you think, that's like, obviously, Musée d'Orsay or something. Important. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice venue. Small. How many, how many, but... how many did Manchester need for old railway <laughs> stations? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very important Victorian town. I think. Okay. That's, okay. That's okay. Uh, so, Tony Walker, what do I do? Well, I'm um, part of Omelytics. Yep. Omelytics, uh, I suppose most people know us from an open banking technology standpoint. We provide open banking services across a number of sectors. So, accountants... Um, Obviously, people here will know us from. Yeah. Um, but we have a lot of clients in the legal sector, financial services, strange enough, gaming. So a lot of areas where people okay. just need data. So if you yeah, think yeah. about journeys that today are manual and painful for both the professional and the individual, quite often it's because you've asked them for some financial information and that all becomes a, oh. Yeah. And that's where you know open banking lends itself to this consent model where you can share the data you want to share yeah. and the professionals get exactly what they need to make those decisions. Um, obviously, we have a lot of use cases in, in accounting world. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's one of our big pain points, right? It, like, well, yeah. I mean, that's our statements is always, you know, getting clients' bank statements is a pain. You know, do you agree with that statement or not? If you agree, you should talk to us. If you don't agree, yeah. then don't talk to I us. I challenge any one of these well, people yeah. to not have that pain Theoretically, point, right? you all should have that pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're either checking that, you know, the QuickBooks balance is correct and, you know, all the transactions are all there, or your clients aren't on bank fees and you have to check. Yeah. So that's my sales pitch over. That's what Armalytics is about. That's how Love we it. help the industry. So we're at Countex North. Yeah. North. Can't say North any more times. <laughs> so why do you find this event so special? Why are you here today? What what's what brings you to a Countex yeah. North? Yeah. I suppose as a vendor, obviously you've got a couple of things you're trying to do. You're you're gonna meet clients, you know. So yeah. it's always good. This is a good place it's you know, it's free from a point of you've got them together in one place, you yeah, yeah, yeah. coffee and everything else. Um, obviously the vendor side is interesting. You know, what what is technology doing? What are people interested in? You know, I just had a chat with the guys at FirmCheck. So it's a brand new, you know, KYC ML platform. Yeah. You know, there's definitely a need for accountants to do more of that. And obviously there are other technology providers already in this space. So it kind of argues there is a need because it's supporting that. Yeah. So it's interesting to see new technology. Um, you know, we've integrated with Client Engager. Um, so practice management software is probably, I would say, front and central to accounting work in that, yeah. you know, it's a cadence. What am I yeah, doing yeah. next? Yeah. Uh, so obviously conversations with you know, Pixies and Carbons, you know, accountancy manager, they have to come on, carry on going, take a while. You can see them here, have a, have a good conversation. Yeah. And it, it's good because often you're with the clients and going, oh, do you want to tell your guy that you, know, you need to be integrated because it makes yeah. it easier. So I guess that's, that's what I get out of it. Um, we often take stands at these events. Um, I don't think I'm very good at doing stands. I tend to find I get loads and loads of leads and no real follow-ups from them. So I'm, I'm just better circulating yeah. around talking to people. Um, quite unashamed of just stopping and talking to people is quite, yeah. quite a nice thing to do. And yeah. often you're talking to a, a client or a vendor and someone else comes along and starts a conversation. So, you know, it, well, you, it's a, you've mentioned it already about integrations. For me, as a purely consumer base, uh, basis of an accountant, I, I can put my hand on what, five or six software that I only even considered because of that integration. Yeah. Like, so powerful. I'm already using one piece of software. I'm already invested yep. in that piece of software. And they're telling me I could have a better experience if I go with the likes of yourself. Or yeah, yeah. It makes sense, right? So for you walking around here, sometimes it's not just talking to the end consumer, it's talking to those other Correct. vendors. Like Correct. you've already said, firm check you've never never really sure. considered before. Maybe there's a conversation. There is a you know, source of funds, you know, it's yeah. how do you do that, you know, chase the money kind of question. But yeah, you're right. And I, it's interesting. You get to other um, sort of professional body shows and... The, the technology is quite specific and there's only, you know, there's like four or five things doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is so many apps and so many niche pieces that you can solve. And, and you know, we admit we're quite a niche piece, which is why I think your point of being integrated is it's like, you don't need another piece of technology. Yeah. You do need the solution. You just need it to be part yeah, of yeah, yeah. the thing you're already using. It's like, log out of this. I know you've got your stream decks and things, but, you know, log out of this, go into that. It seems to be my God, how many apps do you guys want to run? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's amazing the amount of technology that has brought into this industry. Exactly. And the clever ones go, well, if you're not using that technology, you're actually missing out. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you've, not, you've, you've not got, not that, got fancy. that fancy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Client Engage is very good at that. It's like yeah. you, you connect this new client up. It's like, 
And how are you going to get the bank statements again? Yeah. Because if, you if you're not using <laughs> Armalytics, good luck. You know what I mean? Like, you can't yeah. use this fancy new button to get going. But it, I think you're right, actually. The, um, it's, it's almost the validation that it's a, it's, you knew it was a need, and then when you see it somewhere else, it becomes a need. Yeah. So we've had a couple of clients who've come to us who have seen a client engage, and I think either Johan or uh, Andy has demoed it. And they've then seen Armalytics and gone, I need that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. on with us and now looking to go on. It's almost to FOMO, isn't it? Yeah, so I yeah. guess that's where you want to be. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Chris are in the same position. You know, it's yeah. like, a, yeah. oh, yeah, I do need that. That would make it easier. Oh, it's there. Exactly. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be the right sort of thing because yeah. it's already in there. So, you know. And you, you've already trusted client engage yeah. or whoever to... Yeah, exactly. So so the due decisions diligence, they make... Due diligence is done. It's sniff testing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron is a smart guy. He's already thought... So he's... Used, oh, well, in that case... And it's got to be good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So what are you most looking forward to about today then? Oh, God, blam it. There's, there's a few, obviously there's a bit of conflict because there's different things you think you should go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so there's one later about the small and large practice. So Will Funnell and uh, Jonathan Ford um, talking about, you know, do you grow to, I want to be the seven figure, yeah, 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 all that yeah. stuff. Or do I just want 20 clients and I'm very happy with that. Yeah, it's, so it's philosophical and quite interesting. Tech trends is always, I'm interested just to see what people are talking about. Um, it's hard talking to lots of accounting clients to understand. What's your top problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think it, it, in my mind, if, if you ask me the question, what do I think the issue for everybody is practice management? Because that's an efficiency question. And if you get that right, then your practice can grow to the size you want it to be, even, you know, judging by the first question. So I think, yeah, tech trends. Um, there's a bit about APIs, I think, is one of the talks today. Yeah. Which, yeah. Um, but I guess that leads to, is it? I don't really think you want APIs. I think what you want is integrations. Yeah. Which means the technology has to have an API. Yeah, you don't care about the API. You're not going to sit there and code an API. I mean, exactly. I'm sure you're smart. Yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. But I mean, but it's like, yeah. I don't think you're that excited about API. And ironically, the people talking about APIs are one of the ones with the worst track records <laughs> of APIs. So, uh, oh, oh yes, actually, that was one I put down on this <laughs> and realised it was a vendor talking. So you're like, that's a sales pitch. Look, we love them. Yeah. We yeah. are <laughs> so very on board. We haven't mentioned them, so it's fine. But their, yeah, their API uh, is a bit ironic, shall yeah. we say? Because, yeah, that should really be the word integration, shouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. We, we, exactly. We both said exactly. In many ways. So, what's been your highlight? It's a bit difficult. I mean, <laughs> behind the curtain, we've been in an hour. Oat, my oat flat white was very good. Oh, was it good? Was it? That was quite good. That wasn't was a uh, sage uh, purchase, was it? Or oh, it was in the middle. Oh, did I? Do well, there were, okay, so maybe that's a suggestion to the event organizers. There's no coffee available outside. I can't <laughs> buy a coffee outside. It was a bit early. Actually, my, my uh, highlight was the Metrolink. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So, last year, I drove. Yeah. But when I say I drove, I drove from London here on the morning. Ouch. So it, I got to sort of like the end, end, end of the M6 at about just before eight o'clock. And then it took me about an hour and a half to get from there to hit you like, well, I'm not doing that again. So I stopped at Altrincham. Here's my shout out to Altrincham to all of you out there. Altrincham, end of the Metrolink. 30 oh, minutes. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. So that it's was my, uh, my top tip yeah. of travel. Let's get to Altrincham. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you fall off the M6 to Altrincham anyway, so it was like done. Yeah, I must admit, I, I came, I drove for the first time ever to Manchester my whole life. Normally just jump <laughs> on the train. So I got all this stuff to bring. Um, and then I parked up and I was like, oh, surely the car parking can't be that bad. £27 a day. I mean, three days. <laughs> How much? <laughs> sure, there's a decimal point missing there. So yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so how do you take action from this event? Because so, you're going to get lots of leads. You're going to get lots of yeah. information. You're going to get lots of opportunities. What's your pro tip to anyone out there? If it's their first, second, third oh. event, how as, do you take action a, from it? Oh, as, as anybody, really. Yeah. So, a sort of visitor to an event, whether yeah. you're a vendor or just a, an accountant or whatever. Yeah. Because we're, we're all, yeah. fun, like, we come in. I don't know about you, I come away from this buzzing, all yeah. of these things, but especially the first couple of events, that just filtered I mean, away. I'm very surprised. A lot of people, I mean, I'm sure if you speak to vendors so it's not on stands, you have a lot of people who walk around who studiously avoid eye contact, which I still don't really understand. <laughs> yeah. It's like you've come to an event, so I would have thought you're coming here to learn something, which you're either listening to someone talking about a particular subject, or, you know, I don't know what, you know, Planner G does. So I'm you know, just stand over, just over here. Yeah. How am I ever going to find out what they do? I might as well talk to them. I'm not going to get eaten by the, the salesperson. So I, I'm always surprised that people don't ask you what you do. Yeah, yeah. I think we were, we were at, um, we were, I saw your digital accountancy show and there was one lady walked around and she was literally doing like a minute at every stand. And I think that's probably, I mean, it's, that's a sensory overload. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. That, that's probably the, almost the right answer in that, okay, I've done the scan. So it's like speed dating at that it point. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is it? Okay. I, 
Okay, I get that. Yeah, walk six away. seconds are done. Yeah, but it is. But then also, you can kind of go, is that something I need? And you can think about it separately. So I think there is an element of you have to be a little bit less shy than you normally are. Yeah. And you have to go and say, what's in this for me? Why does that work for me? What is it? Yeah. Okay, there isn't anything there. Fine. And say no. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps that's the most important one because most people seem to say yes and really mean no. Exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. So ask questions is probably the. I, I like that. And then that way, you, yeah, you're going to come away with the best action point. So. What's the best swag you've seen so far? <laughs> this, this is only a thing in this industry, by the way. Everywhere else I go, every other industry we operate. We don't care about swag. Oh, we do here. Nobody cares about swag anywhere else. It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you've got, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like I've got so many of these cotton bags that I see to pick up. It's like, <laughs> how many cotton bags can I have? Yeah, on the way out, you could be like, which one today? You yeah, know? but you, you see, so you're quite brand loyal. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, there is an element yeah. of you are probably, your swag question is, what have they released this year <laughs> on that specific <laughs> vendor yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah, yeah, to. Yeah. You know, I think the firm check yellow T-shirts, you can't miss them. Ooh. So that's Why, are they available, are they? No, I'm, oh. say, I'm just saying that, you know, in terms of you are creating something. Okay, okay, okay. So that, that I, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because you want to be on brand, don't you? You want to yeah, yeah. be recognised. Um, Any quirky swag you've seen uh, so far? Uh, I'm, I'm a so I am a socks person. I don't want a picture of your face on my socks. I mean, they are available, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so th these are these are swag socks. Oh, so, they're, they're so who are they from? Ah, Company Money Penny, the uh, oh, Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know Money Penny. Yeah. Good people. Oh, okay. uh, so they're quite nice socks. Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, socks are probably. So going around that, around that washing machine, you don't want mine in your hands. Like, no. <laughs> Looking back out at me, it's a, it's a, it's a bold choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you love most about this industry then? Why, why accountancy? What's oh, what? what no, it's actually quite interesting. Um, I think the fact that you are technology adopters. I mean, clearly, you know, there are what. 500 firms probably represented here yeah, yeah, yeah. of 15,000, whatever yeah. the number is. And, you know, you so say you are sitting with the, the earlier adopter crew, but in terms of an industry, very tech focused and very, and, and quite selfish, not, not in a rude way, yeah. in, a, in a point of what does this help me do better yes. and more efficiently? Yeah, 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 yeah. got the idea that efficiency is key. I mean, I've, I've come from a financial services background, it talks about efficiency, it talks about Six Sigma, it's, you know, it's a million miles away at times. Because um, if it doesn't make money, you don't do it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like there's sort of always this dichotomy. But, you know, accountants seem to recognize that if they do things quicker and it's consistently deliverable, then their life is easier, which means they can do more or less or whatever they want to do. But it's yeah, 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 it, it's you. very much a tech driven. So it's almost like I've got this problem. There must be a piece of technology that solves that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't think other industries think that way. No, You're almost no, like no, no, pushing no. them into technology of like, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you could use something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So that, that, that I think is, you know, you, uh, you know, you often hear in some of the talks, people bemoaning a little bit about what's happening. It's like, if you look at the industry, it's really has adopted technology and it really has pushed things forward. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Massively. You know, I don't, I don't hear about open banking payments really in other industries that much. Really? Yeah. So then just not, in, well, I suppose what's their use case? Well, right? yeah. Some, I mean, some of them are, are, yeah, 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 are yeah. fundamental problems with open banking yeah, payments. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, so if you go to the conventions sector, I can't make a half a million pound deposit on a hand. No, exactly. Because you can't. Exactly, you know? yeah. So, okay. It'd be but, ideal, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. do, uh, you know, I can do 200, uh, 5,000, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. But generally, they don't look for technology as solutions elsewhere as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably disingenuous in, in some cases. But, but, but mostly. Broadly, yeah. very, very tech focused. Hence why you have things like Digital Accountancy Show, I guess. You know, it's yeah, like, exactly. Saying the title. Yeah, yeah. Tech. Makes sense. So, so that's, yeah, that's one thing I noticed. So that was love. What about, what would you change about that? <laughs> What a change about accountants. We do we do have um, Lifeline, so if you need to ask the audience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, uh, help. Um, what? I don't, I don't know. Call a friend. <laughs> I guess it's not really an accountancy question. It's more of a we are we're all humans at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. And you know there is this problem of you know certainly as a vendor you're always you, you know I'm obviously talking to someone because I'm trying to sell them something. Oh yeah, I'm trying to educate you as well to understand. But yeah, yeah I am trying to say something. So we have that sort of inbuilt. I don't want to have, I don't want this. I don't want to be saying yes and change. Now we've already said that accountants like technology. Yeah. There is still a quite a large part that denies the, the future and the change is necessary. And that's, that's true across all industries. So I think that's always the problem where you speak to someone and go, I have identified your problem. I've told you what your problem is and you agree, but you don't see there's a solution and how to move forward. And it doesn't, I don't just mean in my space. Yeah, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm sure you talk to people and just go, yeah. but you could do this and your life would be easier. Exactly. And exactly. they're like, oh, it's not really that difficult. It's like, but you've, you've just accepted it for the last 20 years. You've done it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just means yeah. with the technology available then, it was right. Yeah, yeah.
It but now not. we've moved on. I think we've moved on. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. you should open your eyes and have a look and ask the question again and see what answers there are. And you might find there's a different answer to that question. I love that. I love that. Yeah, and, and you're right. You're completely right. So, but that's always true. I mean, that's, that's a bit cheap shot because it's true of every, yeah. every walk of life. But, yeah. you know, I suppose you have the yin and the yang. You've got, you've got the early adopters and you've got the mass. And the, yeah, 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 yeah. they're still in that sort of, I've always done it this way. Yeah, no, it makes and sense. Walk in the office and there's big piles of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you take analytics. You're like, well, that's, that's kind of a bit, <laughs> a, bit, a bit different to how you seem to operate. No, you know? yeah, it's true. So, what's your ideal client? That's good because that, that's a proper sales question. Isn't it? That's the yeah. what's your persona? Yeah, exactly. I think as a firm, we're very good with very large firms. So, in yeah, other yeah. sectors, we seem to do very well with very large um, firms. So, we're more of an enterprise solution. In accounting, we we seem to be small, medium practices. And maybe that's, maybe that's an interesting view on the industry in that the small and medium practices actually are the people who are pushing. Now, clearly there'll be some large firms that will come along and say, no, no, we're always doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure John Toon will have in, a comment on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But reality is there's easier, easier adoption in small firms because you're the owner, Aaron, and you just say, I'm having that. This is what we're yeah, going yeah, to yeah. do. Guys, this is how it's going to work from now. You yeah. Can you know, so yeah. there is that. Buy in, the evangelist there, yeah. is the owner. So every owner we talked to quite a bit, and she's very much into that sort of like, if I want to have something, I'll tell people this is how I'm doing yeah. it. And it, you know, right, you have to be a little bit, my vision is this, I can be wrong, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, six months down the line, didn't work. Next, yeah, move that's on. fine. But yeah, yeah, when we're in, we're all in. Yeah. And I think, I think otherwise, get, what's the point? Yeah. And you get that in a smaller medium because you can, yeah. once you start to move up into the you know top 50, you're in this sort of maybe a department or a team might you get a it. team to do it. Well, and they're like, well, you know, this little team's doing it, but surely, you know, like, how the hell do we get into everybody else? So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of interesting that, um, so I think that persona is probably the smaller medium. And, it, and I guess it fits with the client engager logic, which is what are they? They're small and medium enterprise. Exactly. It's just the thing that they do. So, yeah, yeah. and that becomes an easier, I suppose for us from a, a marketing and everything else, it's an easier pitch and sale because you're captive, <laughs> you're on it. Yeah, and yeah. It's another widget, but it's a simple widget because it's already integrated. Yeah. So, and again, it comes back to it. That pain point is really easy to find. Like yeah. we all have the conversation topic. We're all there and you've actually got a solution right there. Yeah. To sort it. And I think maybe that solution is less valid in the larger firms because the way they operate and it is probably, they're still doing it the way they've been doing it 15 years ago. And, yeah, it yeah, works. Yeah. and actually to change that takes, you know, it's a bold move. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Get it's, it. It's, if you, when you when, when you work in a larger firm, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Because the downside is if I try and fix it and I make it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not going to good, good, look good on me. So yeah, you, know, you do have that mentality of an employer, to, employee. To, sorry. Um, yeah, makes sense. So I have a tech stack that I go on and on and on about. Analytics is always up there as well. Yeah. For you, Tony, what's your number one item at the top of that tech stack? What can't you live at? Is it communication tool? Is it Ooh. Excel? Is it a bit of social media? What what is it? What's that tech yeah, stack that you can't that you would recommend to anyone? Well, I guess it'd be wrong. And keep it obvious. Don't it will, no, it is obvious. I think I'd be LinkedIn. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I've used their name twice now. So firm check. Never heard of them before. I seem to be whoever's following them. I'm obviously following because I'm now <laughs> getting those. But it's like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't have. I mean, okay, I probably would have found them today because I've probably walked around all the stands and talked to people. Yeah. So I think that power, the power of that, and I know Johan and yourselves talk about that sort of media presence, but it is getting part of those conversations, isn't it? Is how do you get involved? And we work across industries, so that's the tool that really allows you to communicate. Obviously, internally, I'm a Salesforce user, so I need to have something. Yeah. I need I need that practice management. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, I have yeah, no yeah. idea what I'm doing. Yeah. What task have I got? I don't know. Um, that's what I need. But the LinkedIn, I suppose, is the one that allows me to communicate broadly Love it. or have a, have, a, have a voice exactly have a voice and, and I've, exactly got enough, yes, I've got enough followers if i say something you know if i'm completely wrong aaron will go that's total rubbish Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but at but the same time it doesn't matter yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind, you know I'm, yeah I'm, keeps you honest doesn't it red, exactly red. so yeah linkedin I, guess. I love it i love it great great piece of tech stack so what's your feelings around ai it's a buzzword at the moment yeah if you look at the vendors, we talk about valuation points. <laughs> maybe, maybe a start place. I mean, everyone, everyone's trying to yeah. be a, be in the in is the this conversation the, uh, topic, right? Solution in search of a question is that the uh, yeah. answer in search of a question exactly. is, is the phrase. So for you, what what's your feeling on it overall? Because yeah, yeah. I would I would have thought for analytics, it's something that it's it's valid. We yeah. we, we have data scientists, um, well, data scientists because we have a lot of data. It's now, obviously, in the accounting world, broadly, you want the data. Yeah. There are some instances where you might want a bit of insights. So, you Always, know, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I like the fact that the clients of Gager and Johan have renamed all of our products. So, you know, our, our product is called Bank Fetch in, in clients of Gager. Okay, it's analytics, but never mind, it's Bank Fetch. And Johan calls our source of funds financial insights reports. Exactly. I'm like, okay, but what is it? It's an insight into, you know, yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So obviously some of those are dumb insights, as in I can just see the presence or absence of something. And some of them are more model-based, as in we've got some ideas and you start to build them out. So I, I think for us, what everybody wants is information out of a... 400 page bank statement that's the bit of information they want or what yeah, is that yeah, key yeah. piece of information so they they do tend, uh, lend themselves to large language models i think the risk is always this idea of i don't want the data the data i've got isn't for public consumption yeah. this is obviously by definition yeah, yeah, yeah. private yeah so we need to bring our own models in to build them out so that that's probably the direction of travel where it's a bit like you know the so it's blockchain where you go, it's public. It's like, yeah, but you know, big financial institutions don't want it public. So there's a private chain where you're a member, I'm a member, and he's a member, but that's yeah. it. So that's where I think AI starts to be very valuable is where you can get a model and then bring it into your environment. So it's learned something in the, in the big domain, yep. and then you use that learning in your specific domain because your specific domain, A, may be sensitive, and B, is quite specific. You're yeah, 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 yeah. things that people aren't looking for. You know, the problem with AI is it tends to come up with quite random things as well. It does, exactly so right. Exactly <laughs> and of course, right. if you look at the real workings of somebody, it's like, you know, what's the percentage likelihood of the next word in this sentence being this? It's not really intelligence, it's maths. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking at data, bring it into your own data set. So I think that's valuable. You know, can we get better chatbots? Possibly. I know where you are in a journey. I know what yeah. it roughly is, so I'm knowing something. But well, for you guys, is it more of a an opportunity? Call? Yeah, because I, think... I feel I, what I can see with your guy with, with your solution is that AI will automatically look at a set of, if you've turned the feature on or whatever, yeah. automatically look at a set of clients and go, you know what, you're missing this period. Let's just go and request that for you. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. I mean, it could points. be simple things like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we're like, we're looking at more of the data output where. You know, obviously in other sectors, you're looking for the insights in the data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're looking for specific evidence yeah. or absence of certain things. So that is, as you know, you know, transactions are just transactions. You sit there in QuickBooks having to classify them. It's like, what is Marks and Spencer's? Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, yeah, exactly. You know, all that's just, I don't know. You know, maybe AI can help you on there. Yeah. But if you can find things that would have to be dug out, and it's even the making client journey simply, like we do an income verification process and obviously, it's easier now to decide what income looks like. So we can go, is this your income? Rather than going, are these? Yes. Is one of these? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Actually, our first guess is probably right now because yeah. we're learning. So that, that, that's where you can see the value. You know, you've got millions, you know, hundreds of millions of transactions we can learn on. Right. Then use that to then say, what output do you want? Oh, you want to know those type of transactions? Yeah, we've got a model that does that. So that obviously is your moat and making you different because it's not just data. Now you know. Yeah. So that, so yes. Yeah, so I think we see the value in that. I don't know. You, you may be right. Maybe there's a, you know, a tax model that sort of says, "Oh, you're missing out on this opportunity." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's because that's where you want it to help, right? Is to you want it, yeah. Almost people forget they're even using that. Correct. 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 Omelet. It's meant to. It's, it's just... If it's giving, I suppose the point is, it, you should not use it as an answer. Yeah, yeah. It's a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So exactly. that, that's the first thing I like we have to learn. So like you know, I'd imagine with accountants, it's like, are there any suggestions of other things I should do? You know, it's a bit like financial advisors yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, have you got all these things well these are suggestions yeah definitely so then this next question is from producer lizzie it says how did you discover us at asset accountant so we're doing a bit of marketing well marketing yeah. analytics for me well i i get i um well beer normally helps on these things so i met johan over a beer at accountex one of the one in birmingham accountex oh no uh, oh we're counting web live counting web live yeah yes uh and we had a chat and so that's where I first met Johan. So I guess that's how I met Ask the Accountants. I guess my question the other way around is, how did you two meet? Over a beer. Ask the Accountants. <laughs> um, 2000, whatever it was, um, a couple of years back. And that's where this idea came from. So, so were you both basically the power of beer is what we're talking exactly, about. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that's, you know, that thing I said, what, what, do, what should people do at these events? Ask questions. Yeah. Grab a beer. And we and talk we always push that on, on all our stuff because it's right. Like this, this whole thing, we wouldn't be sat here now if it wasn't for yeah. an account X and some beer. What spot, what was the, were you both doing quite a bit of social media I, independently? Yeah. Like? I already had a podcast. I still do QuickBooks Labs. And, okay. And originally, very specific to the. Yeah. And originally the idea was, oh yeah. And do you want to come on to that? Yeah. It'd be a great voice to it. And then we were like, you know what? We could do more broader topics here that yeah, actually could do more benefits yeah, yeah. and I think that's, that's where it came from. Okay. 
So, Tony, this has been absolutely amazing. As always, we have seen some great insights into you, but now is your moment. Now you've got this camera, this camera, oh. whatever camera works. It's plug, it. plug, plug, and Oh, my plug. God. I thought I didn't think that's what it was for. I thought it was just like, you know, oh, no, no. have good friends. No, no, no. Know, <laughs> unashamed plugging. <laughs> unashamed plugging. So, more, more logos required. The F1 exactly. T-shirt. Exactly, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The unashamed plug. Well, I, I said it earlier, actually. I said, look, what's the, what's the fundamental point here? Is it a pain getting clients bank statements? If the answer to that is yes, then speak to Armalytics. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And myself used it. Obviously, Johan used it because he went painstakingly into actually getting it into Client Engager. I think you had to use it, Aaron. Didn't yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. No there was too many <laughs> uh, flashing lights that I couldn't, couldn't ignore. Um, so, yeah, we would recommend it. Tony, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank anything you. Anything else you want to plug? Anything else coming up? Any, should they follow on LinkedIn or anything like that? Well, I think most people are following me. You follow wanna... me. Yeah, follow Armalytics. <laughs> See what else you can do with us. Remember that Financial Insights report? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's what... And, and Johan has many stories about that yeah, one, so, which you've, you've all heard. I so, think I might have earned a purple, you, a purple quality that, street. You've earned more than just a purple yeah. quality street. That's well, great talking to you, Aaron. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Steve. Well, thank you very much. And as always, everyone, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.